Many youth come home from school to an empty house because their parents are working. The unsupervision sometimes leads to them seeking attention in the wrong places and getting in with the wrong crowds. But the Second Avenue Church in Altoona provides a safe environment for these children with a program called The Rock, reaching out for Christ's kids. This is Danny Billiter, and he works with the program and with the kids, and provides the, um, a safe environment for them. So, how did that? How did you get the idea to start a program like that here in Altoona? Uh, basically, what you had said—the needs. There's a, a huge need for such programs in today's world, with the kids coming home from school, nothing to do, um, boredom, latchkey kids. It was started definitely from the need. What draws the kids to come here to the program? Ah, what draws the kids to the program would probably be that there's really not a lot else to do in Altoona these days. Um, they come home, there's nothing to do. Um, we provide a, a home-cooked meal. We have an excellent facility. We have a, a full-size gymnasium that the kids play in. So between coming here and having a gym to play in, um, food, their peers, the fact that they're safe, um, relationships that have been built, people that they know are still here, um, just a number of things. What kind of activities do you provide here? The Rock basically works on developing the essential aspects of child development. We provide them with a creative activity. We do a physical piece where we use our gymnasium. We have a classroom time where we deal with a life lesson um, good decision-making type thing, um, applying good values, what have you, to your life. And then we deal with feeding them with a nutrition piece. Okay. How often um, do the children actually stay here throughout their whole course of schooling? Well, the program's available kindergarten through 12th grade. Um, it's a very transient, Nate, very transient area. Um, we divide the program into three different age groups, uh, each age group would probably have about 40 kids in it. So out of the 40 kids, we would probably have about 15 to 20 that stay from kindergarten through 12th grade. Okay. What would you say is the biggest God moment to you or the biggest blessing of this program with the kids? Well, there's really two God moments to this program. One is the ability to work with uh, the people who staff it. It's a thoroughly volunteered program. And to be able to work with the people that give up their time, their hearts, their their energy to these kids is, is a blessing. And I find that every time that I'm with these people, my life is touched as much as any of the kids are. The kids, the biggest God moment would be probably when you can see a situation where a child is taken from a dangerous situation where you know that there is a family situation, where there is substance abuse or violence, domestic violence, what have you, and that child is brought into a safe haven, a safe place, where he can develop relationships with people that he trusts and uh, begin to work out of that, that difficult situation. Um, I think it's really all about perspective, and it's great that whenever you looked at the kids in Altoona that um, were on the streets, you didn't just grumble about them, but instead you actually created a program that they could come to a safe environment. Um, and the key to that is consistency. So tell me a little bit about the other organization that you've linked up with. Well, I would definitely echo what you said. Consistency is a key part of what we do. Um, so many of the children that we work with come from broken ha broken homes, dysfunctional families to where the adult influences in their lives change from day to day, month to month, year to year. And the fact that we have consistent people who are here, the adults who staff it, when the little boy who lives down the street comes here, he knows that he's going to see the same same people here, that he can trust us, that we're going to be here for him. Um, one of the goals of the program is to be able to provide services five days a week for the, the local kids to where when they get done school, they can come to the church. They know when they're done school to come to Second Avenue United Methodist Church. 
Um, it's difficult for the rock because of funding and the fact that we are volunteer in nature, which takes a lot of time and energy out of the volunteers. We were recently approached by a group in the city of Altoona who has been doing the same type of thing that we do on a more academic piece. They would be almost secular, if you will. Um, they approached us and wanted to use our facility and our kids, um, have access to the kids that are already enrolled in the rock and familiar with the out-to-school program. So we are now able to reach almost all of our kids five days a week. Right. And so then they provide more um, learning support. Is that what the group does? The, yeah, the new group that we're working with, we gear more towards academic. Um, we have learned through just experience that one of the key ways that children are able to get out of the poverty situation that is so prevalent in Altoona and central Pennsylvania is education. Um, do well in school, go to college, get a better job, move on in life instead of getting stuck in a, a cycle of poverty that is so, so prevalent here. The foundation that we work with during the week is geared much more towards academic. Um, since they're not a church organization, they have contact with the school system, whereas the school system will not work directly with a church. So we kind of, we're able to now reach into the schools, get information about the children, their learning problems, where they're struggling in school, and apply that here to the kids with the other foundation. How has working with this program grown your own faith? Um, that's a really good question. Um, I think that the biggest way that working with this program has affected my faith would be that it has shown me how powerful and how gentle God can be. He moves so so strong, so powerful, but yet he is so gentle. Um, this program is reliant totally on God. I mean, God runs it, and we just hang along for the ride. Um, I just thank you so much, all the viewers, for watching these programs. And um, we hope that by listening to these stories, you might be able to hear how perspectives can be changed and how our hearts can be changed to be looking out for missions that um, God would want us to be a part of. So if you would like to learn more about this mission and others, you can check out my blog at sesquihannaexpress.blogspot.com.